What up, Heart Squad? I started making videos in November of 2014, and you can go look on my channel and see the very, very first cringy video that I did. However, what if I told you that I actually made videos back in 2011 and 2012? Today, I will be revealing several videos from before I was even Leonhard. I had a different avatar name. I had even a... I'm gonna save it. I'm just very excited about these because I was looking on my hard drive for my old computer recently and I found two clips from when I started YouTube in 2011 in 12. It's very, very crazy to see how far we have come. So for today's video, what I will be doing shortly, I'm just going to go ahead and show you the two clips, talk about what's going on in them. And two, we are actually for what is, I think, the second time ever, because I've done this several years ago, react to some of my older videos. Y'all have been wanting me to do this, so I'm proud to finally bring it back. But before we do, before I reveal these very, very cringy videos. If you can, because I'm voluntarily doing this, please consider subscribing to the channel. And as always, please leave a like for what's about to ensue. But without further ado, this is the uh, first. I know it's vertical, so hopefully editing will maybe make it look nicer. But if not, my face is probably over here. Without further ado, this is one of my very first videos that has never before seen. Hey everyone, so I'm not really a big collector or anything, but I did used to collect Pokemon cards when I was younger. I was bored during my exams and decided to look up my old Pokemon cards and lo and behold, I found some actual ones that were actually valuable. For, I, I just have to say real quick, one, you gotta love my voice. I'm so passionate and excited about this, but to be completely honest, I was very nervous about doing this. And two, Look at that professionalism on that piece of paper that is revealing something, that is covering up something, excuse me. All right, let's continue. Uh, the first one is uh, Charizard First Edition. And it's got a PSA level grade of eight, which I'm actually very happy about. You best be right I'm happy about that. That's a freaking first edition base set Charizard, the creme de la creme of English Pokemon TCG. And here's old Leonhardt, or old, wait for it, having a... That, that was just sitting in my collection. And I think I got it graded. And it came back in eight. That's incredible. But wait, there's more. Just because it does have a scratch or two on it, but I'm pretty happy about that one. It's a very nice card, value, pretty big value. So let's just go back and, and see that again, real quick. It, pretty big value. It's it's a pretty big value, ladies and gentlemen. At the time, actually, it wasn't the craziest thing, and I do have a pretty crazy story involving a certain Charizard, which actually I feature in one of the videos that you're about to see. Second one is uh, got a level nine. It's the Ancient Mew card. Now it's not the basic one that you get in the American movie promo card. It's the actual official Japanese one, but it's the air card that has the last N in Nintendo missing. Whoa, Nintendo. This is actually crazy because uh, I still remember getting this card from a local comic shop, JW Collectibles, Sports and Collectibles. And unfortunately, you know, a, a GameStop had moved into, not unfortunately, but a GameStop had moved into it. And then as of like two weeks ago, that GameStop finally went out of business. No surprise there. However, it's just sad to see that empty spot in the same shopping center where, you know, I remember to this day getting the binder that had the ancient Mew Nintendo card. And this one, I originally thought I was going to get around a 9 or perhaps a 10, because I really don't see any errors on it, but such a beautiful card. And beautiful card it was, because I don't have it anymore, I think. And just for fun, I included my Alakazam 1st Edition. It got a 5, which is not really good at all, but... Hey, five's my favorite number. Just for fun, you know, might as well put it in the case. So once again, it's the first edition Charizard level eight. Really beautiful card. And last, it's the Ancient Mew Air card. So I'd like to know what everybody thinks 
of all the cards. Thanks. Okay, so that was the first video. And the next one is kind of like, I would say more of the bigger reveal because I'm pretty sure in the first one, I didn't say what my name was as far as it's a very original name. Um, but in any case, let's get into the second one. Oh, I don't, I don't have a piece of paper this time. And guys, I just want to show you what's on screen right now is literally at my parents' house, my chest of cabinets and drawers, and the backspace of my wall. I don't have any decorations in the back. I don't have anything. I'm just using my phone. I'm using it vertically because that's how much I know about creating videos back then. But you know what I did? I just started creating videos. And you know what I also did? I stopped creating videos for a couple years. But that was because I went to law school, you know? I tried doing this and I was collecting cards. But anyway, more on this to come. Let's get this rolling. Hey everyone, this is a Pokemon collector again. I've oh my gosh, and spitting out with that original name. Hey everyone, like and subscribe. This is Pokemon Collector here. Oh, that's, that's, I mean, I know, I know. It's straight to the point. It tells you that I collect Pokemon cards. However, you didn't even include a number or anything like that. I even wonder, I'm, this was under my Leonhart account at the time. However, I apparently wanted to name myself Pokemon Collector. I wonder if I had an underscore. Hey everyone. This is a Pokemon collector again. I haven't made a video in a while, partially because I was uh, just doing some more searching on eBay to see what I can get and I actually got a really good deal on another first edition Charizard from the Pokemon base set. Um, that's by far my favorite card. And well, there you have it. Apparently the first edition base set Charizard on record is my favorite card. Probably by far a lot of people's favorite card, but here is my original PSA grade. Love eight. that lighting, Leonhart. I mean, First Pokemon collector. Very proud of that one. And here is the other first edition Charizard. Well, you look at that. Old Pokemon collector over here has two Charizards for the price of one. That's pretty incredible. Now I'm going to send the second one right here. I'm going to send that off to uh, PSA to get graded. Um, the front is actually in really good condition. The back, there is actually a decent amount of white on the back of it, but you probably really can't see it on here. But I'm expecting this one to probably get a seven or an eight just because the front is that good. Um, an eight's a really great score. I'm really glad about this guy. But there it is, two first edition, Char first edition Charizards right here. I'm actually, if anybody, Wants to make an offer? I'll be listening. Thanks. Wait, wait, so, wait, excuse me, Pokemon collector? You just said that Charizard's your favorite card, and then all of a sudden, here you are at the very end of the video, you're like, if anybody would like to make an offer on this card, please go ahead. Uh, what are you doing, Pokemon? You're supposed to collect these, not sell them. No, but seriously, guys, uh, what I did on the first edition Charizard on the right, I bought a, a, you know, a Charizard surprise from eBay. Yes, it was still around. And I had wanted to try to get it graded to see what grade I can get on it. And um, I'm pretty sure the one that's in the video right here, this one, um, that one, I think just, it, it came back around like another eight or seven or something, but there was another one that came back a 10. I have actually done a video on this before. So maybe let's actually, instead of myself telling you this, let's actually go to that video and see. Welcome to my older videos. Yes, I dressed up as Link and yes, these are filled with cringiness in craziness um let's see if I, I i'm gonna try to find this video as fast as i can to see if it's it's a very very sad story it's a very sad story but um let me see if i can actually find it oh my first edition pokemon base set collection i'm sure that was a very exciting video i went to quakecon in 2015. i'm going through this really fast i'll probably go through uh, more again, and hopefully, I uh, real life Pokemon Jim. Oh, I think that was just like a news 
type of clip that I did or something. But, um, and, but as you can see, I do have some lots, actually, and lots of random Let's Plays. Um, Emily Wants to Play was a great one. I'm actually not even able to find that video. I probably should have probably looked before this. But anyway, basically what this video was about was myself getting PSA 10 Charizard. I found out the results when I was in my election law class at SMU, which coincidentally, I just did a video at SMU and went to the law quad last week. And actually, no, it was this week. It was earlier this week. It's just crazy. Uh, come full circle. And I just uh, was so excited. I ran out of the class screaming. And of course, I, I showed in that video the PSA 10 uh, sub like serial number and everything from my account. So it was legit and everything. But unfortunately, it was uh, I had to, you know, pay for rent at that time. And I had to sell all of my uh, wait, what is this? Tales from the Crypt. I don't want to get actually a lot of these videos have like copyrights in them <laughs> So I have to be very careful because like lots of this stuff is just uh, Copyright. Oh, there's my impressions of famous youtubers. Oh Markiplier. That's fantastic. Um But basically I had all the per uh, first edition base at holographic cards in PSA 10 and I had to uh, Sell them to pay for rent. I apologize for not being able to find that video But what I can show you is my introduction video. So let's take a look here we go. Hello YouTube, my name is LeonHunt54 and this is the introduction welcome video to my new but not so new YouTube channel. One thing that we can all agree on is that besides mom jeans and neon sweaters that were a size too big, the 90s rocked and the Well they did rock and also having more hair rock too. That goes for the games. One of the best moments of my life was when my parents purchased the Sega Genesis for me. Now, you're all probably struggling. Dear old Leonhardt, were you Leon? Were, I, I can't tell if I was reading from a script or something like on my computer or if I was just scared to look into the camera, but anyway. Struggle because of an inner void. Do not get in your daily dose of your 90s and 2000s gaming fix. Well, your problems have officially been solved. They I have. am dedicating this channel to providing you, the YouTube community, original content such as comedic gaming videos, top 10 lists, reviews, comedy sketches, and much more entertainment. Besides my love like, of creating these- I, I like how my hair over here, it just keeps on getting like puffier and puffier as this video goes out. That was probably because I was just going crazy at not getting the right take of trying to say what I want to say. Because I'm trying to remember, a lot of this is probably just myself improving it, like improvising it. Uh, so I was probably getting pretty pissed at this point. Entertaining videos for you, the YouTube community. One of my main reasons of doing this is because I want to build a friendly community where we help each other achieve each other's dreams. And one of mine specifically is to build that community so eventually I can run some charity events online and support various organizations across the world. And boy, did we! Good. Pat yourself on the back, not just past Leonhart, now Leonhart, and anybody else watching, especially if anybody's been part of the community since, yeah, November of 2014. Oh my, oh my. Not only did we raise money, we've raised over a million dollars throughout the years. Uh, going to various charities. This is, it's been such a wild ride. It's been a crazy ride. But that's enough of the wishy-washy stuff. This week has been incredible. Lee Awesome. Jurassic World trailer was released. And this morning, the Star Wars The Force Awakens trailer was released. Oh, past Lee and Hart, if you only knew of the misery, what was to come of those Star Wars sequel trilogy. By fan pressure. If you would like to stick around for the journey, just hit that little subscribe button right here, or here, but anyway. You know, to this day, I still have absolutely no idea what the subscribe button is. Anyway, I promise to you guys that I'm going to put much quality, effort, and content to making my YouTube channel the best it can be for you. Before I leave, would love everybody to introduce themselves in the comment section below. Also, yes, can you please tell me your social security number, credit card number, and deepest darkest secrets, please? Please leave your impressions on the new Jurassic World trailer, as well as the new Star Wars trailer that came out this morning. Once again, this is LeonHot54. Thanks for watching, and until next time- Oh, 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 copyrighted music. Okay, I know, we've come a long way, but what can I say? I'm proud of past Leonhardt. I'm proud of myself. 
I'm very proud of y'all. It's crazy to think how far we have come from that to where we have come to now to one of the top Pokemon channels and personalities and communities in the entire world. It leads me to, well, let's see. Oh no, not Leanheart54 in the handheld of doom. Oh gosh, it's, it's, I can't show that. Wait. Oh gosh, I'm sorry. I can't show it. Just, there's little Lily Leanheart. There's copyrighted Indiana Jones music. Oh man. Oh, you know, it was fun back then. I mean, it's still fun making these corny clips and stuff. Here it is Sonic handheld. I'm replacing it with a diamond. It's real. This is real. This is actually happening in an Aztec Mayan village somewhere. Yeah, I remember. I remember. Oh, look at the ball. It's crazy. It's rolling after me. Oh my gosh. Will he get away? He can't jump. No way he's going to jump that, that, that gorge. Oh, he didn't. Oh, oh, and there it is. Okay. Oh, nice bathroom in the background. And then it's me actually doing like my first let's play. Yeah, sorry there was no music there, but like everything I'm telling you is just like copyrighted. 80 subs, 800 sub special. I'm sick. That's going to be bad music, right? Everybody, my name is Leonard54 and I am sick as a dog or a cat. Not really sure what the phrase is. Anyway, I've been sick for the past week and I... You know, it's sad. <laughs> this video is from March of 2014. Uh, 15. And I still have that blue... That's the blue shirt. And all my thumbnails that I go... That is the same shirt. I'm feeling better today. Oh, oh I'm glad you're feeling better today, Pash Leonhart. What else do we got? Um, I mean, like, there's random, like, Pokemon. Like, all these, like... Look at this. I've done so many of those. Uh, when I first started, there's a lot of videos that I had to take down just for copyright purposes that are not that were not left up. Um, so that's very unfortunate. I did a mockumentary of Superman. That's pretty crazy, which all that also has. Oh, there's this one. This is one of my favorite ones. Uh, I can't show the music or play the music, but hello YouTube. My name is Leonhard54, and it's snowing. La 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 la. la. Grown man, ladies Snowball and gentlemen. Snowball catch! People were just looking out their apartment like, what is this guy doing? Anyways, now to the serious stuff. I just can't believe it. I can't believe that we come this far. That it's snowing out! Let's yeah. catch snowflakes together! And you thought the fun was over, but no. That was in downtown Megan. Dallas. I'm now building a snowman. Is Way right to interrupt here. me. Voila. Okay. For being part of this community. I do all these videos and everything I'm doing for you and for the two charities, the Breast Cancer Research Foundation and the Save the Children Fund. I thank you all so much for being part of this community and commenting on all my videos. Like I said in a bunch of all my videos, everyone has a story and everyone's story deserves to be heard. I want this community to be that chance for everyone to have their story to be told. Bam! Pass Leonhart spitting the good stuff. God, I'm gonna cry to be completely honest if we keep on watching that video, but you're seeing all the videos I'm clicking on. You can go watch those. Uh, be the Slender Man, gotta catch them all. Oh, look at that cro that crossover everybody was waiting for the Slender Man and Pokemon crossover. So I did lots of Let's Plays. Oh, I did Gmod. I had a Gmod phase, uh, Hot Sauce Challenge. Markiplier apparently was at San Diego Comic-Con. <laughs> Why was I excited about that? Uh, oh, Pokemon 3 Pass. Oh my gosh, let's see what we Hello got everybody. here. My name is Leonhard and welcome to another one of my Pokemon card openings. I'll be opening up three boots. There's the voice we know and love. Okay, I'll admit, I had a different type of microphone and I was very, very excited about having that microphone. Pretty sure it was a Blue Yeti microphone and I just had the settings on it like extra, extra, extra. So I'm gonna continue playing this. Just, you know, sit back, get your favorite beverage. Booster packs, but before I get to the booster pack opening, I wanted to let everybody know that if you have not entered my Pokemon card giveaways, which I do monthly giveaways, what are you waiting for? Enter it now. The description is right on the screen right now, so you can't miss it. But now let's get to the main encore, the main thing. 
I'm going to opening up a Roaring Skies booster pack, a Phantom Forces booster pack, and a Legendary Treasures booster pack. Now, wow. which out of the three are anyone watching this is favorite booster series? Now, I would have to say I like Legendary Treasures because of the pull rate. However, I feel that you get so many ultra rares out of this one that they're more just uncommons. So many people. Hey, get that's them. a anyway, fair we're point. Gonna start grab back special i'm gonna go ahead and open a phantom forces one wow now, i have gotten a manetric ex on it not a full art but i got a manetric ex in a hollow manetric so i would like that guy right there a gengar i really want a gengar what do you think gengar gengar see gengar approves i do have to say i didn't have a face cam i was still just using my phone as a camera just goes to show you can do what you want to do and still make videos and still grow. Yes, I only had 1,834 views, but at the time, that was really, really good for as yes, many views he on agrees. this. He wants me to get a full art Gengar. Now, I did see Japanese open openings of this one, and I have to say, I like the Japanese artwork much better. But here's a code card. I still say I'm that's I'm going to give stay. one away right now. Let me know in the comments if you redeem it, what do you get? I right, hopefully somebody one, did redeem that. If not, two, good luck. Three, I'm thinking that's it right there. I always struggle with this card trick just because I can't remember something simple math. All right, will we get that Gengar? So basically, Apple's you're seeing like it. Actual you're seeing it right there. Uh, what I'm getting and what I do. Uh, of course, it restarted at the very beginning again, so I kind of have to go through. But um, I don't know. What I'm gonna do just for time purposes is. I don't know if I have any, like, I'll have to go through and see if I have any more type of Pokemon pack openings or anything like that in here. Because a lot of the times I just threw them in some of these random other videos. So I will leave that up to you. Oh, I have a my top 10 favorite generation one. Um, but in the meantime, it's just, uh, it's just so crazy. To, and one, I have like over, I think, 1,400 videos in my library that are still up to this day. Try not to laugh challenge, 3,000 subs special, more Gmod, exploring Lavender Town, Gmod fun, amnesia even. This is just pretty crazy. I did, uh, oh, original Yu-Gi-Oh starter deck, my Yugi review. I still have that deck of 20th anniversary game. I mean, this is fun. The amount of content that I have on here really is just absolutely insane. There's some breakpoint openings right here. Uh, a Pyro uh, Blister Pack. I did some pack battles down here. That's pretty cool. My name is Leonard and welcome, welcome to another one of my Pokemon videos. Well, you can Today, say I was passionate I'll be opening and excited. Up my other half, the other half, the Breakpoint Pyro Blister Pack, complete with Coin 3 Booster Packs and the Promo Hollow. I'll be oh, opening nice thumb. this all right now. It's if a you marker haven't seen, it. I opened up earlier today, Pyro. Look at that thumb. And nice. May, a may have been like a blister hollow. from working I out. I this in the other card. Awesome! A Grabador! And did I mention... Well, at least I can say it not right back then, but in any case, guys, I'm out of time for today's video. If you want me to go more looking through some older videos, please, please, please leave a like and let me know. But guys, never give up on your dreams. I didn't. And here we are now with an amazing community. So I'm eternally grateful to have so many amazing people over 1.4, uh, 1. Uh, 1. something, 1.4 million subscribers that are part of the Heart Squad. And so I am eternally grateful to have y'all part of this. Thank y'all so much for joining me today. Uh, my name is Pokey Collector. Stay awesome, stay positive, and I will see you in the next video.